crucial new link for commuters is now open in Tyson's. The Jones Branch Connector offers drivers a new way to get over the Beltway. News Force Megan McGrath is live in Tyson's with more on that. Megan. Well, if you look behind me here, you can see that uh, transportation officials and local dignitaries just moments ago cut the ribbon here on the Jones Branch connector, officially opening it. Now, you may also notice that we're seeing some traffic on it. So it has actually been opening little by little over the last few months, but it is now completely done. It provides a crossing over top of the Beltway here in Tyson's, and it's not just for cars. Crossing the Beltway into Tyson's can be slow going. But commuters of all types now have one more option, the Jones Branch Connector. Uh, it saves time. So my commute's been shaved by at least 20 minutes a day each way. Um, and it's great to be back with my family. The new connector has been opening in phases for the last several months. Today marks the formal celebration of its completion. And there's something for everyone. Two lanes in each direction for the cars, lanes for cyclists too and lighted sidewalks for those on foot. So this is a once in a generation, a new crossing of the Capitol Beltway, multimodal in scope. So pedestrians can use it. We've got on-road bike lanes. We've got access, direct access to the McLean Metro Station on the Silver Line, and also access to the express lanes of the Capitol Beltway. And before? And before you couldn't, you could not cross the Beltway at this location by any mode. The connector runs over top of the Beltway from Jones Branch Drive to Route 123. VDOT expects 21,000 commuters to use the new crossing this year, 32,000 by 2040. That should help relieve congestion on other roads in the area, and many have already seen the improvement. Now it's, I just get onto 495, take this connector, and then I'm, boom, I'm in the office. And this project is part of a larger plan to make Tyson's more of a community, a place where people can work, live, and play without necessarily having to get into their cars. In Tyson's, Megan McGrath, News.